Trimlock offers a variety of specially designed shapes, profiles, and custom formulated EPDM sponge rubber compounds. First, establish your adhesion needs from our tape options. We currently offer two options, BT and HT. The two adhesive options have significant differences both in performance and appearance. Here are examples of the same part with different tape options. The rubber seal on the left has applied to it BT tape and the part on the right HT tape. Our BT tape is manufactured with a cellulose fiber that acts as a shock absorber allowing it to absorb a great deal of force and not transferring this force to the actual adhesive applied to the substrate. Here the rubber seal is being put through an extreme shear application. Notice that it remains securely fastened to the substrate as the foam flexes as it moves under stress of use. In our lab's example of an adhesion test, the fixture's metal substrate starts to separate as the HT tape begins to delaminate. Whereas the above BT adhesive at the top of the frame stretches and moves with the application, giving BT a distinct advantage. Notice as the test continued, the BT didn't lose its adhesion as the HT failed under the same abuse. The general purpose HT tape comes off fairly clean, while the BT tape system is exceptionally more difficult to remove from the substrate. The best use of the HT tape is in most static applications. We suggest Trimlock's BT engineered tape system if warranty returns are a concern. The BT tape system will almost eliminate any return or warranty claims due to adhesive failure. Trimlock and 3M find that 98% of adhesive failures are caused by contamination of the adhesive. Remember also, this adhesive needs no less than 72 hours to come to full adhesion bonding strength. The most important step is selecting the right size for your application and establishing the appropriate profile dimension. You first want to measure the distance between your door and your jam. Take some modeling clay and place it in the four corners of your jam and close the door. This in turn will compress the clay. Take a pair of calipers and insert it into the clay at each of the four corners. You add the depth of the clay at each of the four corners and divide by four to find your closed door jam dimension. Take that number and add 25 to 50 percent and that will give you the rubber seal profile size. It doesn't need to be exact, but it needs to be close. For example, if your overall dimension is a half an inch, then 7 16 will probably work. Our rubber seal profiles are designed to work best at 25 to 50 percent compression of its original height. If you compress it more than that, your part will take a compression set. Once the part takes a compression set, it will limit its overall life and serviceability of the part. There is a tendency or train of thought that you need to overcompress the rubber seal profile to create a better seal. Wrong. In fact, it will work against you and doing so will cause profile failure. All you need is 25 to 50 percent compression. That is what has been engineered to work best and will ensure your success. Also, each of the rubber seal profiles have a minimum recommended bend radius by trim lock. The reason for this? Well, as the part is installed into a radius, if it kinks, you'll automatically have a leak. The trick is to pick the proper bend radius in comparison to your own application. It's also important that you design into your application the appropriate bend radius for the rubber seal. If you need a mitered corner, Trimlock offers a specially designed rubber seal 90 degree miter tool. Now before you install your Trimlock rubber seal, it's necessary to clean the application substrate properly. We recommend mixing a solution of one part isopropyl alcohol to one part water along with a clean rag to remove all dirt and oil contaminants from the surface thoroughly. It's critical that the surface be clean. If you use a dirty or reprocessed rag, you're only taking the dirt or contamination from the rag to the surface that the rubber seal needs to adhere to. You also want to keep the adhesive back clean. Don't peel back all of the liner at once because of the possibility of contamination of the adhesive. Once installed, you must apply pressure by hand or wooden roller.